Hey, I just wanted to have a chat with you. Have you ever had something in your life that you felt like you dealt with, but yet something about it keeps bothering you? Like, it just keeps showing up in your life. Um, I can give an example of my life. Like, um, <laughs> sexual molestation when I was seven. Uh, I thought I dealt with it, you know, um, for a long time. I, I was angry about it. I was angry. Um, I, for one thing, no one helped me through the process of it. I was just supposed to hush, not talk about it, um, for fear that, you know, my parents would be judged and that I would be taken away from my parents. Um, so I, uh, it just wasn't dealt with. It wasn't dealt with um, in through prayer. It wasn't dealt with through um, counseling. It wasn't dealt with. It was not even talked about um, until I was in my 30s. Um, so there is, oftentimes there's things in our lives like, you know, just friendship issues or maybe it's, um, relationship issues, um, with the opposite sex, with, um, like, you know, lover type of relationship issues, uh, things that just, we feel like we've dealt with, right? Um, we, you know, people ask you, how are you doing? And you say, I'm good. I'm fine. Right. Aren't we as women just the master at saying I'm fine. I think guys hate that when we say, when you, when they can obviously tell that you're upset, but you say, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't want to talk about it. We have to talk about it. We have to deal with it. We have to deal with it. I feel like that's why we are dealing with so much anxiety these days, because what we do is, um, it's kind of like, you know, you've got a, you got a mess in your house. I can show you right now. I've got a new pup and <laughs> we've got a mess. Um, so you have a visitor coming over and you really quickly like panic. You want to straighten up everything. And instead of truly cleaning and putting things where they belong, sometimes we, we might sweep things in the rug, under the rug, right? We might panic and sweep things under the rug. Or we might uh, stuff them in the back closet, right? And pretend like it's not there. Like as long as nobody goes and opens up that closet, we're good. But are we really good? Because if we keep sweeping things, things in our life under the rug and we just say, I'm good, everything's good. My life is great, everything's good, but yet, in a little while, it rears its ugly head. Did we do, did we really, really and truly deal with what was in our past? I, I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to guess that we didn't because based on my life, not, I'm not judging you. I'm saying based on my life. Based on my life, it wasn't dealt with. It was swept under the rug. It was shoved in the back closet and do not talk about it. That's why I share so much about my life is because number one, the enemy can't. No one, no, no human being and no enemy can try to blackmail me with, with my past because I share it openly. Not because I'm proud of it, but because I want to be genuine. I want to be transparent with you. I want you to know that I'm not just a preacher that has never experienced true life. Um, I have experienced life. I'm, I'm 44 years old. And you can see the gray. You can see some thinning spots, you know? Uh, you can see some wrinkles and some poor issues, but I've experienced life. And because what happened to me at age seven wasn't dealt with. And then there was things, there was lots and lots of rejection. 
rejection from family members and rejection from people on the playground that I, in, in fourth grade, made a decision, a, a detrimental decision um, about friendships that still bother me today that still affect me today. There's things in my life that, no, it, it needs to be dealt with. It needs to stop having power over me in the name of Jesus. So we need to pull back that rug, get those things out, out in the open, and we need to truly, truly deal with it. Because um, I wrote my story in a book called Trash or Treasure. I wish I had that book with me. It's right over there on the counter. <laughs> I guess I could go and get it and share it with you. But um, I'm not trying to necessarily sell, sell it. What I'm trying to sell is the message. I'm not trying to sell it to make money. What I'm trying to do is get the message out there that we need to deal with trash in our life because we are not this trash can on this book. We, our hearts and our souls are not a trash can. We're not a trash can to hold trash in our lives. The trash needs to be gotten out. Yesterday, we went to pick up this new pup and I come home and my house smelled like a trash can because the trash needed to be taken out. There was food in it that was starting to go south really fast and my house stunk because the trash needed to be taken out. Well, in this book, I, you know, I, I got my right, my heart right with the Lord. Um, I dedicated my life to God and everything was great. Everything was great. But what happened was, is the enemy stayed back in that back closet and under the rug. And, um, so I need to speed up my story. So, because I've only got about three minutes left. What happened is those things that happened in my life at age seven and in fourth grade, the decisions I made about friendships in it at a very young age in fourth grade, all of these things were still there and were never truly dealt with. So when I was about 37, 37 is when this happened. Um, 2017, some decisions were made to follow the Lord. Some people didn't like the decisions that were made and things started happening in my life. My, my heart was broken. And when that, when that was broken, it opened up and made me realize that there was things in my life that were never dealt with things in my life that the reason why I act the way I acted is because of the things that were from my childhood that were never dealt with. So what happened is because I was acting like this trash can, those things in my life from my childhood were going rancid in my heart and in my soul <laughs> and like taking up gangrene in my soul. And when you, if you get gangrene in your body, I'm just checking on my pup here. When you get gangrene in your body, you have to, and if it's not dealt with properly, you will start having to be amputated. Like if you've got gangrene in your legs and in your feet, then you, you might have to have that leg amputated. I don't want your life amputated. And that's exactly what happened because things weren't dealt with properly, spiritually, and properly. My life was almost amputated. I fought a two-week battle of suicide. And I don't want you to experience what I experienced. I want you to find the healing that you need so that you are no longer this trash can and trash no longer is swept inside of you or under the rug or in the back closet setting up gang green in your heart and soul because of things that were never dealt with 
I'm praying for you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for healing in my friend. In Jesus.